Zero point energy or ZPE is a really interesting idea in quantum mechanics. It's a concept that has fascinated scientists for decades and it continues to be a topic of intense research and debate. It's the smallest amount of energy something can have. Even when a system is in its lowest energy state, it still possesses this residual energy. This is what makes ZPE so intriguing and mysterious. This energy is there even at absolute zero, the coldest temperature possible, where everything should be perfectly still. At absolute zero, classical physics would predict that all motion ceases, but quantum mechanics tells us otherwise. ZPE comes from the Heisenberg Uncertainty Principle. This principle is a fundamental concept in quantum mechanics that introduces a limit to how precisely we can know certain pairs of properties of a particle. This principle says we can never know exactly both where a particle is and how it's moving. Because of this inherent uncertainty, particles always retain some motion and thus some energy. This not knowing leads to a little bit of leftover energy, even when things are as still as they can be. This leftover energy is what we call zero-point energy and it permeates the entire universe. We know ZPE exists because experiments have shown it, but how we might use it is still a big question. The potential applications of harnessing ZPE are vast and could revolutionize our understanding of energy and technology. Scientists are trying hard to understand ZPE and they've come up with some ideas. These ideas range from theoretical models to practical experiments aimed at tapping into this elusive energy source. No. One idea is the McGinty equation, or MEQ. This equation represents a significant breakthrough in our understanding of ZPE and offers a new perspective on how this energy might be utilized. This equation, named after the AI pioneer who came up with it, Chris McGinty, gives us a new way to think about ZPE. McGinty's work has opened up new avenues of research and has inspired many in the scientific community. It mixes together ideas from quantum field theory, fractal geometry and gravity. By combining these different fields, the McGinty equation provides a more comprehensive framework for understanding the complexities of zero-point energy. As research continues, scientists are hopeful that we will one day unlock the secrets of ZPE, the journey to fully understand and potentially harness zero-point energy is ongoing, and it promises to be one of the most exciting frontiers in modern physics. The MEQ shows how different parts of physics are connected. It's a math formula that describes ZPE using three main ideas, quantum field theory, fractal geometry, and gravity. In its simplified form, it can be represented as P S X T equal sign P S Q F T X T plus piece fractal xt dmqs plus ps gravity xrtg per sext is like a wave that describes the zpe field ps qft xt is the part from quantum field theory pers fractal stt dmqs is the part from fractal geometry and pieces gravity xtg is the part from gravity the meq says these three parts aren't separate they're all linked together this link suggests a complicated dance between tiny energy bits fractal shapes and the force of gravity. According to the MEQ, this dance controls how ZPE behaves. Quantum field theory, or QFT, is the basis for understanding zero-point energy, or ZPE, in the MEQ framework. QFT is a fundamental theory in physics that describes how particles and fields interact at the quantum level. According to QFT, every tiny particle is like a ripple in an invisible field that permeates the entire universe. These fields are not just abstract concepts, they are real and have measurable effects. These fields exist everywhere, all the time, filling every nook and cranny of space. They are omnipresent, meaning they are present in every part of the universe, no matter how empty it may seem. Even when there are no particles present, these fields still contain a tiny bit of energy. This energy is not something we can see with the naked eye, but it is there, constantly fluctuating. This tiny bit of energy is what we call zero-point energy, or ZPE. It is the lowest possible energy that a quantum mechanical system can have, and it exists even in a perfect vacuum. The reason this energy exists is because of the Heisenberg uncertainty principle, which states that we can never know both the position and momentum of a particle with absolute certainty this principle causes the fields to constantly jiggle around creating zpe the emec framework uses qft by examining the vacuum state of these fields the vacuum state is not empty but is a seething dynamic entity filled with potential energy
The vacuum state, which we might think of as empty space, is actually buzzing with virtual particles that pop in and out of existence. These virtual particles are temporary fluctuations that occur due to the energy present in the fields. This constant buzzing of virtual particles adds to the energy of the vacuum, which is what we observe as zero-point energy. Understanding ZPE is crucial for advancements in quantum physics and could potentially lead to revolutionary technologies. Fractal geometry is all about patterns that repeat themselves at different sizes. These patterns can be found everywhere in nature, from the branching of trees to the formation of snowflakes and even in the structure of our lungs. The concept of fractals is not just limited to the natural world, it extends into the realm of mathematics and computer-generated imagery, where complex equations can create stunning visual representations of these repeating patterns. It might seem strange that it's part of an equation about ZPE, or zero-point energy. ZPE refers to the lowest possible energy that a quantum mechanical system may have, and it is a fundamental aspect of quantum field theory. Scientists have been intrigued by the mysterious nature of ZPE and its potential applications in various fields, but the MEQ, short for the McGuinty equation, suggests that the structure of the quantum vacuum, the lowest energy state, might have fractal properties. This is a groundbreaking idea because it implies that the seemingly random fluctuations in the quantum vacuum are not entirely random but follow a fractal pattern. This means the jiggling of the fields, and therefore the ZPE, might have repeating patterns at different sizes. These patterns could be similar to the fractal structures we see in nature, suggesting a deeper connection between the macroscopic world and the quantum realm. This idea of fractals and ZPE is still quite new. Researchers are just beginning to explore the implications of this theory, and there is much to learn. If proven true, it could revolutionize our understanding of the quantum vacuum and open up new avenues for scientific research and technological innovation. But if it's true, it could change how we understand the vacuum. The quantum vacuum, once thought to be empty space, could be teeming with intricate fractal patterns of energy. This new perspective could lead to groundbreaking discoveries in physics and beyond. It could also give us new ways to use ZPE. Harnessing the energy from these fractal patterns could lead to innovative technologies and energy solutions that were previously unimaginable. For example, McGuinty AI is building special antennas that match the fractal patterns of the vacuum and then use them to get energy from these jiggles. These fractal antennas could potentially revolutionize the way we capture and utilize energy, making it more efficient and sustainable. Gravitational Corrections in the McGuinty Equation The McGuinty Equation goes even further by including gravity. Einstein's theory of general relativity says gravity isn't a force but a bending of space and time caused by mass and energy. The MEQ suggests this bending could also affect how zero-point energy, or ZPE, is spread out. In places with strong gravity, like near black holes, the MEQ predicts that the energy of the vacuum could be much higher. This is because the strong bending of space and time in these areas could make the quantum jiggles that create ZPE much bigger. If experiments prove this is true, it could change how we understand black holes and the very early universe. Multidimensional interactions and ZPE A really big idea in the McGuinty equation is that other dimensions might affect zero-point energy. String theory, a popular idea in physics, says our universe might have more than the three dimensions we can see. The McGuinty equation wonders if these extra dimensions, if they exist, could have extra quantum fields. These extra fields could then add to the zero-point energy we see in our three-dimensional world. The McGuinty equation suggests that gravity, which isn't limited by dimensions like other forces, could connect our universe to these higher dimensions. Harnessing zero-point energy with fractal resonators and gravitational manipulation. Using zero-point energy would be amazing. The McGuinty equation, with its focus on fractal geometry and gravity, gives us some interesting ideas. One idea is to build fractal resonators. These devices would be designed to vibrate at the same frequency as the fractal patterns of the quantum vacuum, which might let us take energy from these jiggles. Another idea is to change gravitational fields to make areas with more zero-point energy. We might do this by creating artificial gravity, maybe using special spinning materials. 
These ideas are still very new, but they show how the McGinty equation could lead to new ways of making energy. Speculative applications and theoretical devices. If we could use zero-point energy, it would change everything. Imagine a world powered by devices that use the endless energy of the quantum vacuum. Spaceships could travel to other stars without needing lots of fuel, and cities could be powered by clean, unlimited energy. These are still just ideas, but the McGinty equation gives us a theory that could guide future research. If we could build things like fractal resonators, gravity generators, and even dimension energy collectors, we might one day use zero-point energy to power our world. The future of zero-point energy. The McGinty equation, though still a new theory, paints an exciting picture of the universe where tiny energy bits, fractal shapes, and gravity all work together to create zero-point energy. We don't know yet if this will ever become reality. But the idea of understanding and using zero-point energy is still very exciting for scientists. Trying to unlock the secrets of zero-point energy is very difficult, but the potential benefits are huge. If we succeed, we could start a new era of science and technology, changing how we use energy and how we see the universe forever.